Welcome y'all to this week's vlog. You know who it is, it's your boy Randy Silver. We're back after being gone last week, Labor Day. We don't put out videos during a holiday. This week we have a fun video for you. I'm working on more school focused content. It'll be coming out in the next couple weeks, but you know the commitment we have to put out a video every week. So this week is gonna be going to my first Bucky's ever. A lot of fun seeing it, checking it out. So I'll show you what it's like for California to be there. Also, update, Mare Bear, Mary is here. Wave to the fans. Oh, she, oh, she's waving, yay. So we'll have a video. We're about to move into a new spot in the next couple weeks, so we'll show you the move. Everything we did in our video one and two, coming here, checking out housing, it was success. We got a spot at Alt Vista. We're gonna show you the whole move and getting there. But today, we're gonna do Bucky's. So enjoy this fun video. Intro to sports casting, becoming a sports caster. Let's get it. Hey, California's first time in Bucky's. Is it up to the hype? Let's find out. Why did I go to Bucky's? It was right outside of St. Augustine, Florida. I drove up there to shadow the PJ Tour production. On my way back, I stopped at Bucky's. It's a convenience store, a gas station, electric vehicle charging, fast food. Basically, think of a Walmart on steroids with a gas station. You'll find everything there. Bucky's started in Texas in 1982 with one location. Fast forward to today, they have 47 locations around all of the South. Bucky's are strategically placed off of highways in the South, so people can gather food, souvenirs, merchandise, fuel, or whatever else they need on their travel. The founders of Bucky's wanted to solve two problems clean bathrooms for people traveling and make sure they can get fuel and food. And boy, have they done that. Bucky's has 80 to 100 pumps at least at every location. You can see how sprawling it is right here. Beyond pumps, they have everything you ever need. Look at this, they have smokers, they have barbecues just sitting outside, wouldn't you ever find in the gas station. And look at some of the jobs here. You can make 150,000 to 225,000 a year as a GM of a Bucky's. Car wash manager, 120,000 plus. People love working for them because they pay well, they have 401k, and they have Bucky the mascot, which people adore. All locations include a bakery, brisket and fudge bar, snack aisle, soda, coffee, icy station, they have lines of aisles with beef jerky or a jerky bar like you're seeing right here. They also have breakfast tacos and sandwiches, which is on the screen, a whole bakery, cookies, barbecue brisket sandwiches, which you're gonna see me have one and taste. It was amazing. Oh, it was so good. This is making me hungry talking about it. So you can see how many different barbecues they have. And again, this is a convenience store gas station. They have nuts ready to go for you, have some on the road. It's just unreal. My mind was blown when I was going through here. I heard about Bucky's as a legend and it lived up to the hype. You can see the soda wall. Here's the mascot. Kids were going up to the mascot, giving hugs, high fives. If I didn't know better, I would have thought I was in the Chuck E. Cheese. That's how much the kids were loving the mascot. Now we're in the souvenirs and general merchandise part. Beyond the food that you can get general and regional based souvenirs, apparel, artwork, the chain carries its own clothing brand, its own food brands, its own t-shirts, hats, swimwear, blankets, so much more. You can get kitchen goods, iron goods, food containers, mugs, cookbooks, alcohol, you name it, you can get the Bucky's gas station. People literally have told me that they travel to Bucky's just to go to Bucky's for the day and have fun inside there. They don't even go on vacation. Or people plan their vacation trips to go to a Bucky's and check it out. It was crazy the conversations I heard there. So many different dialects, people from different cultures, all there, just like me, enjoying what they're seeing. I mean, as you see on the screen, look at all these different souvenirs, the clothing, the merchandise, all the Bucky themes. I was thinking about getting Mary some boxers, but I decided against it. I didn't think she would wear them. I thought about getting myself a onesie for Halloween, decided against that. What we're about to see next was the craziest part to me. After going to the whole convenience store, in the middle of the store, I found a shopping cart and a basket. For a gas station, they have shopping carts and a basket. Mind blown. Now, let's taste test this food. I looked online at some of the things I should get, so what did I get? Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Highly rated item, number one. It's their staple, you have to get it. Number two. A, <laughs> I forgot what I got. There you go, a sliced brisket sandwich. Got to get that Texas meat. Breakfast taco, even though it's 3 p.m., highly rated, supposed to get it. Dried mango slices for later. And 
and their real famous beef jerky. People travel around all the south to go to a Bucky's. They will take trips around the area to make sure they go to a Bucky's because it's that famous. People love their food and everything you saw on there, you can get whatever you want. Recently, they've been selling some stuff on Amazon here and there, but some stuff is special only the Bucky's. So let's try some of this food. Number one, chicken taco with barbecue sauce. Pretty good. That food tastes like a. That's pretty good. Tastes like a chicken pita taco you could get at a Mexican spot in Mexico. Not bad. I honestly did not expect it to be good. This is not bad at all. Number two, sliced brisket sandwich. Look how stacked that is. That's fat. Woo! Let's try it. Mmm. That was good. That's a really good brisket sandwich. That could be from anywhere at a proper restaurant that makes brisket, tri-tip sandwich, rib sandwiches, whatever in the South. That's really good. I would come back and get this sandwich. I'm gonna finish this one now. Final thoughts, Bucky's lives up to the height. The food was really good for a gas station convenience store. It was fresh, it was cooked right in front of you. It has anything you ever need. On the West Coast, we have In-N-Out. That's our local pride. Here in the South, you got a Bucky's. That's your local pride. If you've never been to Bucky's, go check it out. Your mind will be blown like mine was. Enjoy. Bucky's Randy out.